So nearly half of U.S. adults are not active enough to maintain good health, and about one in three adults participate in no physical activity at all. One local woman who was active exercised regularly. She still had a stroke, and she was just 39 years old, which, you know, raises the questions, how could this happen? Um, she is joining us, of course, this morning. Um, her name is Sherry Pinkstaff. She is a Mayo Clinic physical therapist and researcher. You work at UNF um, as well. Right. Good morning to you. Thank Good you morning. for being here. Thank of you course. for sharing Thank your you. story. Because Absolutely. I think the reality is, is I was I was interviewing um, a cardiologist, uh, interviewing one up probably about three three weeks ago or so, and there is something called skinny fat. It's, it's, there's a skinny fat in terms of increased risk of stroke and the mm -hmm. reality is is that even if you're super fit mm -hmm. and you eat well and you're in good health you can still have a stroke how did you know Absolutely. this was happening to you um well in part because i had a lot of knowledge about stroke because i'm a physical therapist um and so i knew a lot about it then i mean the morning that it happened it seemed um, kind of hard to believe, and I wasn't sure what was happening when I first woke up. I knew I felt really strange, um, and I tried to wake my husband up, um, and that was when um, I realized I couldn't talk, because he looked at me and he said, C can you not talk? And, and I couldn't respond. I couldn't, I couldn't respond to his question. And so then I realized that, 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 that I couldn't talk and that I was having all these other physical symptoms, and, um, and I thought, Oh gosh, I think I'm having a stroke, and um, it, it was very surreal. Like you said, because it's it was a very it was very uh, it was a, colli a collision of my professional life and my personal life because I do so much work in cardiovascular research and teaching and that sort of thing. It's interesting because perhaps do you think had you not known what the symptoms were mm. and that you were experiencing them because some might again your husband might look at you and say you, sure. you're exercising it couldn't be possible sure. that you know you live so healthy yeah. that you're having a stroke had yeah. you not known yeah. the symptoms do you think that this could have ended up differently for i actually you? think if my husband hadn't known the symptoms yeah. it would have ended up differently for me i think that um you know um uh, public awareness campaigns about fast right like the signs and symptoms of stroke they had actually my husband and I have talked about it since that time, that he had seen that those public awareness campaigns and he recognized stroke. And, and so that's why I feel so strongly about speaking out on this because I can speak now to speak out and let people know the signs and symptoms of stroke so that so somebody else can be a, a hero like my husband was. Well, let's talk a little bit about yeah. what you were experiencing. I mean, yeah. we um, fast, I know the first is- Right, is, is face. Is, is face, Right, yeah. so of course, and that was something I couldn't recognize myself. Right. You almost have to have somebody else recognize that. That's facial drooping. So the other one is arm. So A for arm. So arm weakness. Did um, you find that you were having that? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And then speech. And that was the biggest one. That was my my pr most profound s symptom. And then T is time. Time to call 911. Yeah. Uh, do you, when you, by the time you got to the hospital, I mean, what mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about, you know, your stroke, uh, right. why this happened to you, considering, do you have family history? I don't. Yeah, wow. no, I don't have a family history. Um, yes, it, what, it, they really don't know why I had a blood clot to begin with, but I, they did find that I had um, a patent foramen ovale, which is a hole in your heart mm. between the two char top chambers of the heart. Um, and it's pretty common. A lot of people have it. About 20 to 25 percent of people have a, a patent for no it. And have no idea. And most people, there's, they have no consequence from it. Um, but um, some people are, you know, um, a bit unlucky. <laughs> um, and so it might be one of the ways in which a blood clot can leave their heart and go to their brain. And so that's what happened to me. So what I had that re like? repaired. Um, my recovery was. Um, was physically was actually really um, easy. I mean, I was in the hospital for about five days. Um, my most severe sort of symptom was the aphasia or the inability to speak. Um, my um, my um, that that ability sort of came back over some time, and I just went back to doing the things that I that I love doing, that I had had a history of doing, exercising, um, eating well. Those things gave me a lot of comfort, and and I believe that they helped me recover also. And being in good health and exercising Absolutely. helped me improve your your recovery or at least speed it Absolutely. up. Absolutely, I think so um, for sure. And the and the doctors at Mayo Clinic um, felt that that same way. Yet another reminder, of course, yes. why it is so important to eat well, well and get regular exercise also is, right. God forbid, you have a stroke that you would recover 
Absolutely. You want to avoid better. having another stroke. The chances of having another stroke for people who have already had one are still um, are still elevated. Well, you look fantastic. Thank Good you luck so much. to you. Thank you for sharing your story. Yeah. I certainly hope it Thank speaks you. to someone here at home yes, who remembers so. also that, God forbid, something like that should happen to you, that you recognize those signs. Just remember, fast. Yes. And, of course, if you miss any of this information, you can go to heart.org slash healthy for good. Don't worry. We're going to post this, uh, this link also along with the entire interview at newsforjax.com later this morning.